Hi, it's Dave from Driving Adventure. You join me at Heartside Pass. It's a little bit moist, the roof off. And today's video is all about my new spider. Well, welcome inside the cabin of my Irish green machine. This spider is sensational and it really has brought back the smile to my face that I lost in 2020 when the 981 racing yellow chariot had to leave the garage. And I really wanted this car really for a few reasons over the 981. And the first reason was it had a GT chassis. That was the difference for me and obviously the handling was going to be a little bit better than the previous car, which was good anyway. But what you were going to lose with the chassis, or so what you were going to gain with the chassis, you were going to lose that sound and that feel of that exhaust note in the back the crescendo from that flat six which was rather battled down and told to be quiet but I have to say the car graphic race competition system has brought this car to life <laughs> and I am so happy with how it has turned out now I've never had a car where I've covered the first thousand miles as quickly as this one. <laughs> oh! -ho. And it's nice to be able to drive the car on roads that are very familiar. I've just left the Porsche South Lakes facility and I'm now on the A6 for the rendezvous viewpoint to film this incredible car. The way this car now sounds and picks up has delivered for me all the things it lost when the 718 was made quiet through the petrol and particulate filters. And now it sings and sings and goes and goes and fully running now at 1,242 miles, having done a couple of trips already. It's just a dream machine. Having the roof off, the full emotion the full feeling, it just grabs you. <laughs> just so exciting, just such an exciting car to drive. And now of course, I've got the full package because I've got the exhaust. Which just sings and sings as you take it through the red van. And now being fully run in, we can enjoy that red line in the car. And I think the reason I love this car so much is, obviously the RS is sensational, it drives, it drives faster, you could say it's got more road ability, it devastates the corners, it's just such an amazing car to drive. But this car, it's got more usable power. Whereas the RS potentially could get you into jail in third, second and third gear, I think this car has more usable performance to enjoy. But I just can't say enough about the car graphic system. And it's not paid promotion. It's just, I thought it was the best one that was available on the market what it gives you in first and second, it gives you that low down growl, which you just don't, you just didn't get, because the exhaust valves didn't start to play until 4,000 revs. But the manifolds, the OPF, and the, the back box have brought this car to life. Now, another improvement I made to the car, I had a few friends commenting, you're throwing a lot of money at it. Well, it's a car I love, I mean, it's better to do that. But the suspension tweaks, 
so this is running a fast road setup so the nose is just slightly lower now we've got a little bit more drop in the nose and what that allows the car to do with the suspension that suspension secrets have done for me is improve the way it handles and now when you steer it's more reactive to the input and there's no delay you just turn and you go in the corner speed you can actually press that accelerator more in the bends and so that's another big improvement other things about the car that I spec and I have said in the previous video I said well I wasn't sure you know was the brake such a good thing to have purchased well this this car feels so light so nimble and the way it stops <laughs> because it's light the brakes have got so much stopping power I mean it's just it offers you so much so much performance so much opportunity to take the late brake into the bend and just scrub off the speed extra quick it's just amazing so as you know the upgrades were completed for me by night Nightmeister at Warrington great lads if you're thinking of doing some stuff to your cars then get in touch with them they've got a range of options for the 718 and the 981 also they do all the uh, Porsche models too but I've been really grateful to those guys for working on this car and preparing it because I drove it from Stoke and it's about 30, about 30 mile journey on the A roads. You know, when you get it up there, you know, it's quite nippy. But the upgrades on this car, the flywheel, <laughs> it just, just punches the revs in now. It just, it just goes. For me, I just can't ever see myself not having this car. It's just, <laughs> it just puts such a smile on my face when I drive it. <laughs> And I think people who have these cars, you know, being in the Craig Spider Club, the CSC group that we went to Wales with, they've all got spiders and they all kind of know and you don't tend to see a lot of them together. But we had 20, I think, on the trip, all driving. It's a great time, it's a great time. So if you have a spider, get in touch with that Craig Varty on Instagram. You can tell you, tell you all about it and you can join. And you've got members up and down the country. Having a spider, obviously, is your ticket to be considered. But it's decent lads great time in Wales this car performs so well now let's uh, just reach in here to the uh, the control unit let's just open the the pipes now so now th what that does is it opens the valves all the way through the rev band so what that does then is it just gives a growl low down that you wouldn't have even got in the 981 because again the valves didn't open until about 4,000 on the rev band. And then you get that pop, <laughs> which takes you right back to the 981. And I think that's what the enhancements have done to this car. Yeah, it's cost me money, but I'm getting it back with lots of smiles, a lot of thrill, a lot of pleasure. <laughs> And some ace trips coming up. We've got the Highlander just around the corner. My birthday weekend in the Scottish Highlands. I just can't wait for that. And then after that, we come back and it's Europe. <laughs> but let me just give you a little uh, taste of second gear now. So this is um, second gear, just, just under 3,000 revs. Yes, sir. <laughs> the car graphic system, it's so versatile. So, so you can offer your ears the full crescendo, or you can go factory setting with the sport button on and off, or you can have something very quiet. And on the motorway, that's where the unit, you can turn it all the way off the valves. And what that does is enable you to be Cosseted along without, you know, the noise of the system. And I think on a long journey, then that's quite good. I think you might remember this from an RS film. to Hartside is one of my favourite roads and driving through
through the Hartside Pass and onwards towards Northumberland. Amazing stretch of road and we've done it uh, as part of the club twice already. We're driving this car today now on the A686. It's a complete dream. Let's talk about the flywheel. Well, what it does, it just gives you more, more of an urgent throttle response. And as we know, the 911R, when it came to the market, could be specced with a single mass flywheel. So in terms of Porsche thinking, it wants a car that's performance orientated in manual. It was good enough for that car. I think it's good enough for this one. It's just on another level of pleasure for me having no roof on and that was the thing that excited me about the 718 project was Porsche said well we've got a GT4 we'll just take the roof off it and make a spider and it's a GT car a product you know now I know a few of you will have watched the video on the racing yellow spider and how much I really love that car and you know I think you've got to factor in the money because you can pick up a 981, a decent spec 981 now, and you can save quite a wedge because this car's more, and then it's more on top with the exhaust and the modifications. So this car was like 106,000 quid. Well, you can pick up a Spider now in the used market, probably 70 something, save 30,000. And when you put it across like that, you think to yourself, well, is it worth 30 grand more? And I think that's where, if you're more cost conscious and you've got a budget, the 981 is a brilliant proposition. There was a friend Paul who accompanied me to the trip to Wales and he said, this car is a wolf in sheep's clothing. And I think that's absolutely right because it's got a hell of a lot of performance. You look at it and you think, it's just gorgeous, it's just gorgeous, but it's got some bite, it really does. And the way it just picks up out of the bends, it's just tremendous, absolutely tremendous. Spot on. I think an open top, a spider, this car deserves a soundtrack to go with its looks. And this is what this car now has. Is the full package. So there we have it, my fabulous Irish Green Spider, now covered 1,350 miles. Pure pleasure, pure delight. Special thanks to Porsche Centre South Lakes for supplying the allocation, not just the Spider, but for getting that paint the sample colour too. Also, Nine Meister Suspension Secrets and Signature Group too. An amazing car, loving every single mile. Thanks very much for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, get the notification bell on. As always, I'll see you next time. Yeah.